Hey, what's up everybody? I thought I'd go over our fun 5, 6, 19 Spartan Challenge today with all of you. This is what we're doing in our, our group personal training workouts at all of our locations. But I thought this would also be good for anybody who's in our uh, program if they wanted to maybe replicate this outside, maybe a good vacation workout, travel workout. I think you can do this uh, pretty easily. With uh, We only need one piece of equipment or if you have access to an outdoor uh, monkey bar situation where you can do pull-ups that can work as well. So let's go over this. So this is a design uh, to be a similar workout to a Spartan workout. I encourage you all to consider doing a Spartan workout at some point. I love them. I think they're great and they're a great test of your fitness level on what we're achieving in our group training. So uh, if you like this workout, consider signing up for a Spartan race. They're all over the country. We have a lot coming to the Bay Area. Uh, in the next few months. So take a look at Spartan.com, SpartanRace.com. So the first thing we're gonna do is do some kind of cardio for 90 seconds, walk, jog, sprint, something, some kind of cardio movement. Next, we're gonna do 10 monkey jumps or push-ups to modify, followed by 10 prisoner squats, and then 10 pulling movements. Maybe it's a row with the TRX, maybe it's a row with bands or pull-ups. Most people cannot do pull-ups, so you can do an assisted pull-up, but again, you know, you don't have to do pull-ups. You can just hang even for 30 seconds. Try to hang for 30 seconds. That builds great grip strength. Number five is do 10 back lunges. 10 on each side or 30 seconds total. It's hard to get 10 each side uh, in a 30 second period, but just do the best you can. 10 jackknives. We're gonna, it's really an explosive jackknife, also known as a push-up tuck, followed by 10 squat jumps, 10 elbow planks, or if needed to modify, we're going to do a beast in a la moving laterally. The elbow planks are a, uh, a needed movement. If you're going underneath barbed wire at these Spartan races, you need to get on your elbows and crawl a lot. So just understand there is a purpose for all of these movements, okay? And with each exercise, you'll see uh, in our workouts today, we went over core breathing. And there should be a breathing component to every one of these exercises. There should be an inhale and your, your belly should just relax and fall, initiating from the belly rib cage area, your diaphragm. And then on the exhale, we wanna draw the belly in and then we wanna we consider doing a, a uh, Kegel, which is an engagement of your pelvic floor muscles. Think of the pelvic floor as both your bladder muscles and your, the muscles around your anus. Your anus is a muscle and a lot of muscles around there. So you wanna squeeze the bladder engage it, and then lift the pelvic floor, pretty much lifting the anus up and in. All right, so that's kind of how we do it. And now let's go to the workout. Now I'm gonna show the movements one at a time. I'm gonna skip the cardio. So imagine I just did the cardio right now, everybody. And I am gonna go into monkey push-ups. Check it out, here we go. All right, all right. So monkey push-ups, everybody, 30 seconds, or 10 reps. Goes like this, try to get your head to the ground, and up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Remember, wanna breathe out, exhale through the mouth, inhale down. These are our monkey jumps. You're not jumping. Monkey push-ups is totally fine. You can hear my timer. All right, next exercise, prisoner squats. Right here. The guys are gonna make sure I'm in the video. Inhale, exhale. Prisoner position. Inhale down, exhale up. Full range of motion. I'm hinging from the hips and lowering. My knees should be right over my ankles. I'm making that little S sound. Squeeze the shoulder blades, eyes looking straight ahead. Hand down and up. Inhale, belly gets big. Exhale, belly gets small. All right, number three, pulling movement. I'm gonna do a TRX pull. I'm gonna use this one here. Uh oh, I wanna make it tough for 10. Tough for 10. Right here, my straps are a little long. I should be able to go farther with my feet towards the wall. Do any type of pull you want. I'm doing a variety of pulling. Rotational pull with my hands. Wide pull, narrow pull. Get a little tired so I can make it a little easier. Anybody can do this exercise. You just get more vertical. 
All right, after the pull, back lunges. I like to use the line. Inhale, it's the back lunge with an arm reach. I love this particular movement pattern. It stretches my lats out and my back hip flexor quads. Always go slow before progressing speed and load. I'm not adding any load at all. This is hard enough when you do it four rounds like I am. Feel free to do one round to start. Always breathing. Okay, next. Explosive jackknife. Hands are low. Drive. Explode with your hands. Slow your feet. Modify with push-ups. Explode using those hands. Hands are low, chest up. Try. We're doing 10 reps or 30 seconds. Every exercise, breathing. Those are tough. Squat jumps, two more. Feet about hip width. Reach up. Working on vertical jump. Load, explode. Side view. My feet are not wide. They're close, they're hip width. Reach. Halfway. If you're modifying, if you shouldn't be jumping, don't jump. Hinge and lower. Here's the modification. Still gets the heart rate up. Final one, crawling pattern. I'm going to show you sideways. Butt down, opposite arm, opposite leg. We're doing 10 on each side. I'm just going to show a few. Modification, not necessarily easier, but it is a modification from what you were doing. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Another level of the modification. Session complete. This just works on neurological patterning. So lots of options, guys. That's the 5, 6, 19 workout. I'm tired. See you later.